I am here with Moses. Say hi, Moses. Hi. Guys, you have an opportunity to build wealth for your children at this age. Moses gets birthday money uh, from all over the globe. Just kidding. Family and friends. And yes, be a kid, you know, buy a toy, Legos and all that stuff. But you know what Moses did with his money? You know what he did with his birthday money that passed here um, several months ago? Moses, tell them what you did with your money. I saved it up because um, he said that... Come to the I, camera so they can see you. I saved it up because he said that if I get $100, then I can invest it into crypto. And so um, I saved up until 100 but instead I've got 115 and I invested it into crypto and now I have like what? Uh, you went in at a dollar dollar 44 and now I think it's at $2. So you made money. You made um, whatever percentage that is. Um, I think 30%. 30% maybe? I think that's right, 30, 40%. So guys, think about so ha had you Moses had you bought like a skateboard or a toy how long do you think that skateboard or toy will last you as far as giving you pleasure of playing with it and, and the excitement like well a skateboard depends on maybe not a skateboard maybe like a Lego like a uh, maybe maybe a Lego box that costs sixty dollars. You think it'll probably like the first week you like excited about it, but then after that, will you still be excited about it? Not really. So what if your hundred dollars turns into ten thousand dollars while you're, or maybe even fifty thousand dollars by the time you're fifteen? You think that's enough money to buy yourself a car? Yes. Right. And so Moses, and and I didn't tell him to do this. You know, he understands, he knows that I am in the um, crypto space. And so he wanted to invest money in the crypto space because he understands the growth potential of where crypto is going to go. And now granted, he doesn't know which one to put it in. And I kind of coached him on, you know, which one to put it in. But you have the opportunity to help your your kids out yeah rainbow moses um to help your, your your kids out instead of them putting their birthday money in these toys and things that are going to fade away and they're going to donate it in three months because they don't play with it anymore that's your college fund right that's your car fund that's your whatever fund right um find a cryptocurrency like bitcoin or ethereum uh, one of the more less volatile coins and Moses is nine years old now and six years you know if, if they're saying Bitcoin is gonna be a million dollars and yeah maybe he doesn't have a whole Bitcoin he has a hundred dollars worth of a Bitcoin now but do the percentage increase on if Bitcoin hits a million dollars um, or maybe it's a different coin right and so um, but I put it in a project where it costs very little and they're expecting to be a really, a really big project. So anyways, I just thought I would share that with you um, to think outside the box, man. Don't just put that, you know, my other daughter gave me, she had $350 um, that was just sitting in an envelope from her babysitting. Uh, and I looked at her and I said, you know, that, that, that money right there is doing nothing for you. I mean, yeah, good job. You're a good steward of your money. You're saving it. But it's doing nothing for you. It's not earning any interest. It's not, you might as well just dig it in the hole um, and bury it and then and then come back when you need it, you know, a year, two years from now. Put that in an investment opportunity and, you know, let it grow for you while you wait until you need to spend it. Well, that money right now for her, it's, it's like $700 something dollars. Um, and same thing. You know, here's a project that I think you should invest in. And so teaching them those things now at this age is, is important because if you wait until they're older, they're 15, they're 18, they're 20, 
you know, and, and if you and if you're leaning on the school to teach you how to invest in these ways, then you can be waiting a long time. Um, you're not going to learn how to invest in school unless you go to college and become a financial advisor or take, you know, maybe a business school as such. But, you know, teach your kids early of how to steward money, number one, the value of money, right? Um, don't just spend it and think there's nothing. I mean, obviously it's a tool. We don't worship it. We don't, you know, we don't love it. It's just a tool. And and utilize this tool to, to be a blessing on your life as you get older. And who knows what it will, will become when he turns 18 or 20, right? And so this is a quick video to help you think outside the box of how to invest your kids' birthday money <laughs> and babysitting money. Aloha.